and when that revolt comes it will come hand in hand with the idea that what is being searched for is the truth of that person's identity which is not reflected in the gender discourse but is reflected in the discourse of self transformation So I had a question that came up in the last answer which was about the equality between the male and the female and made me think about this thing that we are seeing more and more I think a lot in the US but also now in India and generally in the world uh, where there is a rise in the idea of gender fluidity and people not wanting to identify anymore with either the male or the female and they prefer to go with um using the pronoun they like they want to be referred to as they and i feel like it's going to a sort of crazy proportion where they don't want to call babies babies anymore they want to refer to them as babies they have created about between 20 to 25 different genders now from what we originally knew as just two genders what is actually going on in this whole gender discourse Well you know in the last 100 years maybe a little more maybe a little less America has been at the forefront of transformative change America has always been very transformative all the big experiments the big social experiments the big psychology experiments all of that has happened largely in America partly in europe it's a cauldron of everything which is at the cutting edge as far as this entire gender discourse goes it is also happening at the cutting edge of something and what that is is actually a discourse about identity and not really a discourse about gender and it is a discourse about ego because if a young person in their early teens is rebelling against an identity imposed on them they are doing that because they have no references any more no reference point any more outside themselves everything is so confused that wherever they look they can't find references so they don't want an identity to be imposed on them it's a rebellion it's a rebellion and it's a rebellion which is almost entirely supported by the ego what it is though is actually a refusal to tune inward to the soul because then the answers are very clear there is no confusion about identity when the tuning in is to the soul because you don't listen to the ego and its confusions you're very clear about what this is and you are in surrender to that to the soul and you act as its instrument in the absence of that knowledge or that attempt to tune into the soul at all and with god absent there is only rebellion against that confusion and the adopting of that confusion in every aspect of that person that young person because that's where it's all happening actually that entire confusion is supported by systems that want to push through those confusions because they make money out of it it's greed based there is an entire medical industry that is profiting from these confusions of various kinds 
that have grown and developed over the last 10 to 15 years. And that industry is pushing this through. The way to deal with something like that is to train a child from, from babyhood onwards to trust in themselves, to tune inward, to believe in their own power and strength, because then they will not be confused by the confusions of a society that has lost its God, it has lost its gods, it has lost its, its structures, it has lost whatever morals it had, it has lost pretty much anything that can give some sort of system of coherence to that child or that young teen. If a parent of a six-year-old boy who likes to dress like a girl is insisting that that boy is actually a girl and allowing that boy or even supporting it and encouraging that boy to start taking hormones at the age of 12 or that girl to start taking hormones because she believes she's a boy then it is the ego of that parent that is making this happen there are very very rare cases where an actual change is indicated and even then it happens or should happen much later when the person is really sure about it in their 20s or even in their 30s. So it is ego at play, for sure. And when a, a teen suddenly wants to push that through, it is also ego at play. It's that loud, clamoring, confused, demanding, insisting, desiring, madness of the ego that is absolutely overruling any possibility of this impulse of Truth to be heard from within. And the result is what we are seeing now. But underlying it all is a desperation for some sort of sense in this whole thing called life, because God has been taken away. The cosmic experience has shown itself to have nothing much to do with the terrestrial and corporeal reality of the materiality of this body. So if you are not going to have God, God has been killed actually. So if there's no God, then the only way is to turn inward and society has not yet learnt that. And as long as that is not there, all these many-headed hydras of, of, of the ego in all its various faces are going to rear their heads. One of those heads is this, this entire discourse about gender and it being turned into a business, into a greed-based business. That's why I said that America is a cauldron of the transformative. All this is happening and it's not going to be happening for the next 20 years. It is not going to be happening. At one point, there is going to be a revolt against this craziness and nonsense that is being forced on young children. And when that revolt comes, it will come hand in hand with the idea that what is being searched for is the truth of that person's identity, which is not reflected in the gender discourse, but is reflected in the discourse of self-transformation. You understand what I'm saying? Yes, I do. Um, I also wanted to ask in that context that there seems to be, or when I've spoken to people, it's like, somewhere people do kind of realize that this is not something right, but for fear of hurting the sentiments of the transgender community or to not be cancelled out, people kind of are holding back their opinions about this. 
I know for a fact, if I really voice my opinion that I really don't agree with this, there would be about 100 people standing up and saying that's insensitive or you're transphobic or you're cis gender against the transgender people and you're labeled a hater immediately for having an opinion that is not the same as theirs. So how does one also deal with that in a society that's currently supporting this whole what I call madness, it really does feel like madness because people don't know how to address people anymore. So, yeah. To speak out your mind, and unless it's going to be dangerous physically to you, you should say what you think and say what you feel and say what your spiritual experience is. It also needs to be seen that the transgender community is a very, very small section of society. And Society cannot fall into tribal times. We live in societies that are that should be democratic in the sense that the individual's opinions should be given the respect they deserve. And as long as a person is not really nasty about another person, opinions should be allowed. If any community, transgender or otherwise, is cancelling opinions, then they don't belong in a modern democratic society. They don't belong. Whichever community it is, it doesn't really matter. Also, the transgender community, in all its various shapes and sizes, has a right to fight for its rights. And it should fight for its rights. If the others all around are too weak to defend their own rights, then that's what happens. And that's exactly what's happening right now. You have, you have drag queens teaching youngsters in, in, in kindergartens how to dance and things like that. Drag queens dressed in, in skimpy outfits, and everybody's supposed to accept that, that's not acceptable, because children should not be exposed to anything which is not simple. Things have to be kept simple for children. A drag queen is a cultural expression of a transgender person for adults. What are they doing in schools? What are they doing at children's parties? Why? There's a whole culture, a very interesting culture. And from a spiritual point of view, there must be tolerance for all kinds of expression of sexuality. But there cannot be tolerance for the confusion that is being created, where in the name of the rights of a small section of society, entire societies have to change their very cultural fundaments and their very spiritual fundament. That doesn't work. At one point, this is all going to come to an end. It's not going to continue like this. There will be a revolt. I can see that already happening. And then there will be a spiritual transformation. All of these things that are happening, are happening because they will push through that societal transformation, that, that paradigm shift from the conceptual to the transformative. And, and that's why America is, is very important culturally, because it's a cauldron for all of that stuff that happens. And out of it all will then boil out what is useful for society. Namaskar. Don't be afraid of what your friends or people think. Say what you think. Always be very deeply respectful of anyone's choices, but do not accept anything which you feel comes from the greed of those who want to make their profit out of something which is ethically 
unacceptable. 